Hello, hello. See, this is going to be a, a game of, it's, I need to wear one of those welders, like a welder shield. You know, they just, <laughs> someone asked how old you are. Put it down when they're welding and then flip it up. That's what I need. I am uh, 50 plus one. On Tuesday. Tuesday. On Tuesday, I turn 50. 51. Hi, Todd. Hi, Billy. Hi, Terry. Hey, Flash. Terry, so you like Terry? From England. Hello. Wow. Did Mike get you a big gift? Yeah, he gave it to me yesterday. I think I've earned it in the YouTube world. Um, I got a new laptop. <laughs> Mike, Mike gave me a new laptop for my birthday. So I do all the editing for the videos on my phone and I started making a bad habit of doing like a little bit now or like, you know, videoing and then throw it in iMovie for out the tree, like wherever I'm at, it's convenient. I can, in my mind, I think I can do two things at once where I'm not really productive. Like I'm having troubles hearing what's that. Um, then if I'm with the dogs or Hunter, it's, I kind of get nowhere fast. So I'm going to start doing editing on my computer. My laptop that I have now just doesn't have that speed. It's kind of bogged down with um, five years of stuff. All right, so Archie. I need to see. Archie. There's 178 on. Hey, Snowman. Thanks At for joining. At 200, should we start Hi, answering guard. questions? Pardon me? At 200, should we start answering your questions? Yeah, so we get to 200, we'll answer some questions. And look, we have 20 thumbs up, 200. 20 likes. 34 likes. From Alabama. Uh, the Hi, driving's Alan. going okay. It's when I was driving. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've only driven, I haven't even been the, the driver assistant. I've been in the back, just videoing. Um, only once. Mike's gone with you a couple times, and then Hannah. Yeah, I'm always going. with Hannah. And, um, she's not going to drive a Jeep, so it's, you know, it's just Hannah's <laughs> going. Someone said that's I, some nice big hair you got there. Tonight? Yeah. I, um, I had a, I, I let my hair dry. I'll ask you the questions. Okay. Um, on its own. I have natural curly hair, so then it kind of is like a Chia pet. It just grows and grows and grows. Okay, are we ready for the questions? So you can leave off. Okay. Yeah, just. So I had a clip in it. I want to finish my hair story okay. like this. And just a few minutes ago, I took the clip out. So now it's it looks bigger. Okay. Eva's going to ask the questions. Number one, how do you like running the excavator? Oh, that's asked again too, a few times. Um, I like the excavator, and I'm going to tell you why. Out of all the equipment that I've, oh, Captain Mick, and Hunter's BK fun. Thank you. Hunter needs to pop over here and say hello. Thank you very much. Yeah, so let me tell you about the excavator. I have to say, out of the, all the equipment and the, um, <laughs> all the equipment, I sound like I'm an equipment operator, but all the equipment I've run so far, I could count on one hand. I felt most in control of that one. And maybe because there was two hand controls. And I also thought about this. I was safe in that the house, house or casing or cab. Um, yeah. So Next I, felt, I felt confident. I still struggle with the zero turn mower. Um, do you garden? If so, what do you enjoy gardening most? And I've gardened my whole life. Do you um, grow your own food? Yeah, so just in the last couple years, we got away from gardening for the fact that it just was 
feeding every little rodent in the neighborhood. So in the past couple years, I guess since we've had the YouTube channel, um, no, I think we did it one year since we had the YouTube channel um, with Outdoors with the Morgans. I did it one year, but then throughout the years, yeah, I always do a garden. Um, my favorite, I love doing vegetables, but I have to tell you, I did not like gardening when I was a kid. My grandparents had gardens and my um, parent, my parents had gardens and uh, you couldn't go anywhere or do anything until you were weeding two rows in the garden. And that was frustrating. Um, what is your favorite piece of equipment of mics to run around the house? Yeah, so the favorite piece of equipment so far is, believe it or not, the excavator. <laughs> I know, it's so fun. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed that so far, but I haven't done anything but move a log. This one says, not a question, but a comment. Your hair looks amazing. Uh, yeah, so I wrote down all the questions that came in. I wrote them all down. So, okay. and I didn't fake any of them. What was your favorite <laughs> decade and why? Oh, That's a good question. Yeah, it's a very good question. If you haven't guessed already, the 80s. So if you saw video 47 that just published last night, about uh, seven o'clock our time, and it's called, uh, You Asked For This, and it's a picture of me when I was, six, I think I was 16 in that picture. And I have an 80s perm, and yeah. I love the 80s, I love the music, and I totally wish they'd bring the, the 80s hair back. Yeah. Okay, who do you find an inspiration in your life? So that's really a good question. I find a lot of people inspiring, and I think through different phases of my life, like whether it was when I was a teenager or when I became a new mom, uh, and then when I became an old mom, and you know, your kids grow up, and there, I think there's different phases of your life, and you, don't, you find different inspirations. Um, I think there's a difference between finding someone as an inspiration and finding someone to be uh, an example or a good mentor and I've had plenty from coaches when I played basketball to uh, bosses at a job and um, definitely people in my life I would say my mom and my grandma were definitely good role models I was expecting you were gonna say me but anyways um, how are you just so kind beautiful loving <laughs> funny and fantastic that was from Janelle. okay so that was from my friend but some of them um i get to reading them going is this some sort of joke but yeah so what was it how am i kind you know kind, what beautiful loving funny and fantastic and fantastic she thank you janelle i'm not sure if janelle's watching but thank you janelle i um i she's learned from the best Hey, you know what? I think we talked about this one other video for Outdoors with the More. No, it was when we did the video for my channel about me, my interview. So Mike Morgan interviewed me. And um, I think you learn from your mistakes. And if you don't, that's a shame because you're going to keep making the same mistakes. Um, but when you learn from the mistakes, get out of the ditch. So when you find yourself in the ditch, whether it be, you know, financially or emotionally or even physically, you're making these decisions that you just can't get out of that ditch. Um, then you start doing ditch behavior. But he's gonna try and get in this I think it helped. I think so. My mistakes have I've learned from. So I think that's made me wiser, and I have been able to learn to be kinder. And I said in this video I just published yesterday, the card that is in the corner of our bulletin board: kindness begins with me. I'm not gonna sit around, my belief is, this card? I should probably put it in the center. Hunter, come say hello. You gotta peek in a little more. Here, come over here. That's your arm. <laughs> hello. Hunter's waving hello. Is that right, right there? Yeah. So I think um, just being kind, it starts with us. You know, you can't wait for someone to show up at your door and be like, Hey, I'm the kind guy, and I'm gonna give you all the kindness you need, and everything. That's that's not gonna happen. There's no silver platter. 
So I went and got this. So kindness begins with me, and I that's kind of my motto of. Can I okay. <laughs> um, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? That's another good question. I, I think I should have a every, list. Yeah, Eva does. And our son Levi always wanted to travel. He has a list as well. I've not, um, I've not dreamed huge of traveling the world. I think it would be great to see other places. Um, maybe Jerusalem or Australia. I'd love to see, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't have a strong enough desire to like save money for it or even get a um, passport. And I think this phase of the game of, of society in general, I probably won't be traveling. I think Canada is pretty. There's there's a lot of Canada. Yeah. Alaska, I'd like to go to Alaska. Me too. Um, and then of course, just probably everybody's answer. Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Is Mick Rose on? <laughs> Okay, this is my list. Iceland. I want to go to Iceland really bad. Okay, Glacier you that list. I'll be right back. I have to get a clip for my hair. Glacier National Park. I want to go to all the states because I've barely been to any. Greece. I want to go to Quebec again. Alaska and Hawaii. <laughs> Bora Bora. Um, Paris. Australia. The Grand Canyon. Antelope Canyon. <laughs> Yellowstone. Victoria Falls and Zambia. Venus, Italy. Bolivia, Portugal, Turkey, Croatia, uh, Moraine Lake in Canada, the Netherlands, Norway, some Mount Roramka, and the Patagonia Mountains in Chile. I think that's a pretty good list. Um, I think it's a very good list. Thanks. Now, do you think you, realistically you'll go to any of those places? I want to travel. When I get my license, I'm just going to go to all the states. I'm going to drive. Yep. Okay. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> the Grand Canyon. Uh, the Grand, now, the West, I would love to. That's something I could take off Norway. and do tomorrow. I want to go to the tulip fields in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, Texas, Washington, Oregon, Utah, Colorado, all the states. Okay, next question. Okay, is it muted? Okay, sorry. Um, how did Mike propose? Did he ask your dad first? And he did. I don't know. I can't read your handwriting. <laughs> oh, is it true he drove a tractor to prom? <laughs> so how did he propose? We were um, at, he did ask my dad, and then we were at an Italian restaurant. And he asked me to marry him just at the dinner table. And I remember, um, I remember I left my, I had a pair of red leather gloves, and I left them there at the restaurant. Never got them back, so. <laughs> um, real quick, someone just asked, if you could have dinner with one person, who would it be? Okay, I think I've said this before too. Dolly Parton. Oh yeah, you do really like. I that. love Dolly Parton. Actually, we're birthday twins. Dolly Parton's birthday is the same day as mine. Thanks, Daryl. Um, Daryl, is it true he drove a tractor to prom? No, we didn't go to prom together. So we went to different schools. <laughs> this might be where Mike Morgan comes and jumps in <laughs> on the live. We've um, my school did have tractor day my high school and you would you could drive your tractor to school does anyone else have that so that I'm pretty sure are any of my high school friends on this live by chance funny thing is about this YouTube channel I seriously don't believe anyone that knows me knows that you have a YouTube I have a YouTube channel and yeah. and if they do know they know about outdoors with the Morgans but if they do know about Morgans off the leash they don't join on the live but anyways, if anyone went to my high school, please tell me if they still know if we have tractor day. I'm pretty sure they still have tractor day. You can drive your tractor. Um, someone said to go see Buckin. We were just talking about that a few hours ago. Yeah, it would be great to go visit Buckin. Um, what's your favorite TV dinner? Like the frozen dinners from yeah. the 70s? Oh my gosh, I loved that. It was supposed to be Salisbury steak. 
<laughs> it was um yeah it was my favorite and you know what the favorite part was they always had a little section of a brownie yeah. um what keeps you motivated and staying so positive every day yeah so i have i believe i have a strong um how would i say it? uh spiritual um belief in god and i believe i was I have a strong testimony, and that's what makes me um, continue on through the rough times. And oh yeah, Mike keeps me happy. Yeah, Mike makes me happy. That's it. Um, like I said, you learn from your mistakes. There's so. another one just up here. But um, yeah. So my knowledge, uh, having a strong religious belief, doesn't protect you from things going wrong in your life. It prepares you for when they do go wrong, you know exactly where to turn to. So that's my belief system. Um, what was, I keep missing it. Should I watch down here? Um, what kind of YouTube videos do you watch? I'm glad you asked because I'm not sure if you would guess this about me, but I watch all sorts of, I love watching weightlifting and bodybuilding. I love watching Dr. Berg. He is my one of my favorites. He's kind of um, all about, um, I don't want to say holistic, but um, how to heal your body and keep it healthy. Um, I started watching, oh, Tia B. Stokes. She lives out in Utah. And I started following her like a year ago. Then she was diagnosed with cancer. And I've been watching her journey. Um, she does a live every night. Would you guys want me to do a live every night? I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, and he was writing down questions as they're coming in. What else? The, the, I love weightlifting and bodybuilding. Oh, fitness, um, and nutrition. And what I mean by that is, uh, I want to know the reactions of like, uh, say for, I'll tell you what I just watched recently is low sodium. Like what happens so you know when your face kind of swells or you know you feel this or that like it's a symptom like having low sodium is a big deal oh millie flick is on <laughs> hi millie my niece is on from las vegas um have you always lived in pa i've always lived in pa my parents still live in the house i was born and raised in i've never moved further than 12 miles from my childhood home um what was your favorite saturday morning cartoon cartoon growing up the Roadrunner, and I can think of that like it was yesterday. I couldn't tell you what I did yesterday, but ah, uh, the Roadrunner, Wiley Coyote, yeah. Um, was your hair always and Tom and Jerry? Was your hair always so long growing up? Yeah, I didn't have my first haircut till I was twelve. I had hair down past my butt. Um, I don't know why we had long hair. My sister didn't have long hair. My sister got. Is my sister on? Maria, you on? Um, she cut her hair when she was a kid, so. What's your worst habit? Mm, that's a good question. I have some. Should we ask the family? Go ahead. I'm trying to think of Mike, some. Mike, what would you say my worst habit is? Oh, I know what Mike tells me. He, he absolutely despises that I do. He buys jerky. He comes home, you know, cuts open the jerky, whether it's from the deer jerky or he goes and buys the uh, beef jerky at the place. And um, then he cut, he puts it in a Ziploc bag, puts it in the fridge. And he says between the jerky and lunch meat, he said, I don't seal it up and I let food go bad. Um. But I know I have a ton of other things. My kids, go ahead Eva, what what do you think my, West, my worst? Dogs muddy. Oh, Mike doesn't like that I let the dogs get muddy, and I'm like, it's okay. It's okay, right? That's what Eva always said when she was little. It's okay, right? Um, what's your biggest pet peeve? Oh. Well, about people stories. or just Mike? <laughs> I don't like a wet towel and hanging, or just thrown anywhere. Like, hang up a wet towel if you're in my bathroom taking a shower. I don't like that. And, um, oh, I don't, 
uh, biting nails. I don't like, I don't bite my nails and <clears throat> actually I will be drawn to people if they're biting their nails. I kind of find myself zeroing in on them. Um, what's your, oh, what was the first band or concert you saw live? Oh, I think it was, um, well, I know the first concert Mike and I saw live together was Heart. Do you remember the, the <laughs> band Heart? Um, I think the one I saw live, I went with a friend to Phil Collins. It was a long concert. Um, oh, Depeche Mode. No, I, I take that back. Depeche Mode was the first concert I went to. What is one thing you love about Eva that you haven't told her? Oh, Eva. I always tell Eva what I love about her. That's true. I just was telling her yesterday. Eva sees good in people. Eva, you know what? A success I just told her today. It's like one of the successes Eva's going to have is she wants good. She's happy for other people when they succeed and do good. What was our wedding song? I know what it is. I know Mike won't know what it is. In fact, next month is our 30th wedding anniversary. So we could probably do a live together, right, honeys? Honey honeys. bunnies? So what was it? Just the two of us. Sure. Do you know what the song was? It's, sure. it's just the two of us. Um, would you have more kids if you could? Someone asked yeah. that. Um, Who's saying I can't? Fave, what's your favorite birthday memory? You know, I don't know. My favorite birthday memory probably was, um, well, it's always kind of snowed on my birthday. It's always kind of been super cold on my birthday. Um, just getting like a card in the mail from a friend. I remember the years, like stuff like that, that someone remembered my birthday. And then here I am, like Hunter's Bus and Tables. Those aren't, those are cans of Diet Coke that have accumulated over the day. So he's cleaning up. Um, here, Hunter, come say hello. Say hi. <laughs> um, what's your favorite color? So my favorite color, that it's two colors. I love black and I love yellow, but I wouldn't want a yellow car. Um, and I'm not sure I'd want to paint a room completely yellow. So it kind of just depends. My mind's always just sorted that out as I have favorite colors. Um, for clothing, like I seem to like gray, although I know the sweater's pink, but um, yeah. So I don't wear a lot of blue. No, you don't. Uh, what year did you get Stanley? Got Stanley in 90, uh, 2000, <laughs> 2010. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite video game growing up? <laughs> well, we had an Atari, which was pretty fun. I, I didn't get to play a whole lot. My older brother, he was the, he was really good at, playing Atari games, and I was kind of just content watching them, I guess. Mike has excellent hand-eye coordination. My older brother had pretty good hand-eye coordination. I did not, and uh, but I enjoyed watching it. Um, what's the best prank you've pulled on Dad? I've had some pretty good ones, right, Mike? I'd have to think. What's my best prank? Oh. I, um, yeah. I think the one that comes to mind is when we had chickens, I hid in the chicken coop. And then I text him and said, hey, it's already dark. And he was out and about. I go, when you get back home, could you just pull the chicken coop door closed for me? And I was, and he said, yeah, I'll be home in 10 minutes. So I went out and hid in the chicken coop behind the door. So I was still waiting for him to reach in to pull the door shut. And, you know, the chickens are in there like, oh, what are you doing here? And, you know, they're all roosting and it's dark and they're, you know, watching me stand there. It's kind of fun to hear he was on a phone call and he's yakking and yakking on this phone call. And I'm like, oh, get off the phone. 
And so finally he's like, yeah, you know, I better get going. And, and he finally, he reached in to grab, to pull the door shut. And um, I grabbed his hand and screamed. Um, what's your favorite sport? My favorite sport to watch? I like to watch, um, I used to love to watch college basketball, but it's kind of got away from me. I'd say hockey. Oh, yeah. Um, do you like ACDC? Yeah. What's your favorite food? I have an ACDC shirt. So do I. What's my favorite? Food. Yeah, I like steak. I'm a big beef eater, but um, I like pizza. And um, I have a sweet tooth. I have a, yeah, she does. Yeah, I have more than one sweet tooth. Um, who's your favorite musician today? You like Megan Trainer. I do like Megan Trainer. I like Dolly Parton. I like um. Um, Blake Shelton. Um, oh, you know what? You might be surprised. I like George Strait. Um, who else? Uh, I hope I don't hurt anyone's feelings, but I've never been a Beatles fan. I was born after the Beatles, I guess, or something. Like, I never, I just never got into that. I. I don't know a lot of their music and it's just never been a favorite, but I know a lot of people that love the Beatles, so just, it's kind of like, does that surprise anyone? Um, what was your first car? The first car I bought was a Subaru, and I think I put a picture of it in the video yesterday. It was a, a Subaru XT, I think, the little shape like a triangle. Yeah, it was, that's right. Subaru XT. And there was a button, it had um, all wheel drive, and then there was a button that would like lift it up. It had um, what they called a moon roof back in the day. And uh, that was super fun. And yeah, so Mike and I got married and we ended up trading that in on a Nissan Maxima. Um, will you have a diving board on your pool? Oh, I haven't thought about it. I was thinking of a sliding board. But, um, sorry, I'm trying to, probably a good idea. What's the strangest place you've been on a date? Uh, strangest place. Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember any strange places. Um, did you and Hunter do laundry today? Partial. It's not finished, so the answer is the half yes. Four years ago, did you ever think you'd be where you are now? No. No. Never. Yeah, so I want to remind everyone that's here, thank you so much for um, joining in. We have 650 on. If you could all hit the thumbs up. So if I say if you all could hit the thumbs up and even if half of you hit, that'd be great. Um, um, why golden retrievers? We got a golden retriever when we were first married and uh, here's how we got it. So we were married in February and then a year later in February, it was leap year. And I saw in that week, we got a free weekly newspaper and I was looking in there and they had a picture of a little golden retriever and the owner and, and she was telling about it and she had, um, they did a little story on it. But anyways, I called, there was a way I could call them. They were in Zillianople and actually they were from West Virginia, but the lady's mom lived in Zillianople. And I picked out, Jake was our first golden retriever and he lived with us for 16 years. He was a really, really good dog. Um, what was your favorite age? Oh, that's a good question. I liked turning 16. Yeah. And then turning 18, I just, actually, I have a friend that she just turned 18 a few days ago, and she's like, oh, so excited. I'm going to be an adult, blah, blah, blah. I didn't look at it that way. I was like, oh, boy. So, like, this is serious. You know, paying bills and voting. Like, there's a lot of responsibility happening in my life. 
Um, but I think I was taught well to know it was a big deal. I paid my bills from day one, you know, I bought my own car and, and my own ins car insurance. And back then we had, we didn't have cell phones, but we had long distance phone calls to call our friends. And it was like 10 cents. My mom, seriously, our phone bill, if it was like how many pages front and back, like seven, eight, nine, she would highlight the, the ones that were my calls because she knew my friend's numbers or the ones that were my brother's call. And we seriously had to pay like, you know, eight, nine, sometimes $20. It's just hilarious. Um, what's one vehicle you wish you had? Here's the funny thing when, I don't know, like all these years I've always wanted like a nice luxury sports car or something like that. And now, I don't know if you gain wisdom over the years and once you turn 50, you get a lot of wisdom, but like, it just kind of doesn't matter anymore. But I wouldn't say no to, you know, if a nice two-door BMW showed up on my driveway. <laughs> I don't know. I like the Range Rovers. Um, it's funny how you can quickly have expensive taste just when you're dreaming. But, yeah. I, I like the Jeep. I like four -wheel. I do like that. Maybe that's the, what the question was meaning. I do like sitting up higher. So, trucks. I like having a truck or an SUV. But... A uh, black two-door BMW wouldn't be bad um, on Tuesday. If you had the power, what would you change in the world? Oh, wow. That's a great question. If I had the power, what would I change? Well, I'm a firm believer that everyone should continually have their free agency. But I do believe that we should be focused on more of the good and not the bad. Can you guys see this? What's so great is... That's Melissa's first car she bought. It was like this little triangle shaped thing. <laughs> Look, the hair is about the same. Look at my waist. Uh, I don't think it was 100 pounds in that picture. I'm trying to catch up. There's so many. Um, my favorite ice cream, chocolate peanut butter. Or a peanut butter parfait with hot fudge. No nuts. What's your favorite animal? A dog. Favorite candy? Oh, boy. Here's my answer to that one. The whole aisle. Have fun with it. I can't pick one. The whole store. The whole candy store. Um, what's the best joke you tell people? Well, when people have a birthday, I'm like, don't worry, you're not old. Because if you were an oak tree, you'd have many, many years to live on or something like that. So, I don't know, I love jokes and depending on what the season is, I'm always Googling jokes. Halloween's a big joke season. Yeah, for you. Um, but I mean, there's always jokes to tell. Do you like Elvis? I do like Elvis and you know what I can tell you? I remember exactly where I was when I heard that Elvis died. My dad and I were driving to Butler um, in his truck, we were going up Route 8, and he had heard it on the radio. And you know, a, a funny thing I remember about that was the radios back then were like, you know, laid out like this on your dashboard. And they had, you had that punch button, and it like jumped your dial to that button, and then you press the next one, and it jumped to. So I remember my dad punching around on that radio, and he had heard that Elvis Presley died. And he had said that to me, and I'm like, who? And he goes, Elvis Presley, and I'll just, I'll never forget that. Um, what's your favorite place to be? I'm um, home. Home outdoors. This, um, the pandemic, the whole stay home thing, that was pretty much fine with me. I, I really like my home-centered lifestyle. Um. Oh, Trina, thank you so much. I see, um... What's your, oh, that's so nice. Thank you. What's your favorite kind of pet? Probably an obedient one, but um, no. I like having the dogs as a pet. Uh, we have a, this Jinxie is our first cat we ever had, and she stays downstairs. But um, even growing up, I had a dog. My first dog was a toy poodle. Is old man Fred on? <laughs> Someone get him. 
So old man Fred has a couple poodles. But yeah, her name was Nikki. Have you ever seen anything strange in the woods? Yeah. And, um, but you know what? That's kind of the fun thing about being in the woods. You can sit and look at something and be like, is that Sasquatch? You know, and you kind of like aren't sure. Or you think like a log is like, I swear, there was a big rock log thing. You, uh, you couldn't have told me any different. I was positive it was a big buffalo. And um, I was hunting. And then when I got out of my stand and went closer, of course, it wasn't. <laughs> and I knew by common sense it wasn't. But it totally looked like a big buffalo. Or like you think you see something black that could be a bear. Um, have you ever been to Nemi Colon or Falling Water? We went to Nemecolin last year for my 50th birthday. That was what Mike gave me for my 50th birthday. It was a weekend at Nemecolin. And uh, did you know they're filming The Batch? They filmed The Bachelor at Nemecolin. So I just heard that on the radio the other day. I'm assuming it's true. But the whole Bachelor show um, stayed at Nemecolin until they finished. So I guess they all tested COVID and then, you know, they eliminated people and they were fine to send them home. But yeah. Um, it's a beautiful place. Yes, look into falling water. And falling water. Beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful sites in Pennsylvania. Have you... Oh, what's one thing you regret? Um, right off the top of my head is... I kind of have regrets over... Um, please don't think less of me over this. My kids don't have scrapbooks. <laughs> they don't. All of the pictures are in shoe boxes. I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? I think it bothers me more than it bothers my kids. But I don't like to place blame on Hunter for things. But um, when I would sit down to scrapbook and I would look at pictures of Hunter um, from when he was little, it, um, <laughs> it just would get to me. <laughs> Levi said we don't want scrapbooks, Mom. Uh, oh, Levi's on. Thanks, Levi. <laughs> Poor Levi. Like, Hunter's the first child. He has, like, a big shoe box. It's probably a box of, from Boots, you know. It's big, filled. Levi's is more like a kid's shoe box. Hannah's is probably the same size, and Eva's is, like... <laughs> Eva's is all electronic. I think the first, what, four years of yeah. Eva's life, we have printed pictures, and then after that, everything's electronic. Have you ever tried Vegemite? Do you know what that is? Oh, I haven't tried it, but someone else I know has I told me. Either love it or hate it. Yeah. Is that the mixer? The food? The Australian thing? Oh, no. I, <laughs> isn't there a mixer convention? I guess I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, have you changed since having kids? Oh, yeah. I've changed since being married. Guess what I've changed? Guess what I've learned? And you know what? I can't wait to um, my kids that aren't married get married and figure this out. But you learn to never say never. Oh, my husband will never do that. Or my kids will never do that. Phone rings. Hello? Oh, principal? Oh, psh, really? Okay. <laughs> um, what's your natural hair color? Um, it's dark. It's dark like my roots. I've always kind of colored my hair. And now I've, I'm struggling with gray. Um, do you like the beach? Yes, but don't get there very often. How many dogs have you had before Stanley? Oh, before Stanley? Two, three. Um, what's your favorite Bible story? Esther, I love Esther. Esther's my favorite, and I think um, her faithfulness and her obedience and her um, integrity. Yeah, it's my, one of my favorites. Do you believe in aliens or UFOs? I do believe that can be possible. Aliens, I don't know about, but UFOs, I, I believe there's something that people spotted. Maybe they're crazy, but... Um, have you ever lived on a gravel road? Is this like the country song, The Dirt Road? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, our, uh, we lived 
when we were first married, we lived in a, a house that was off of a dirt road. What's your favorite vacation? Well, my vacations have always been kind of limited. So I think just being away with family and friends would be a nice vacation. That could be in a cabin somewhere or out on a beach somewhere. Um, but then again, I'm okay with being at home and maybe just having a break from everything else type of like a staycation. What's your favorite Stanley picture? Uh, Stanley. Um, actually, oh, it's on. The yeah, the chicks probably. Stanley with the chicks. And uh, we had a basket, we got chick, our chickens, we got the little chicks and we had them in a basket and Stanley walked right up to them and sniffed him and we snapped pictures. But he, there's cute pictures of Stanley in the snow. There's cute pictures of Stanley um, in the parade, the 4th of July parade, right? That was draw, drawing to the end of the last year we had him and our family. Levi said for anyone trying to message him, he'll be doing the dishes while watching so he won't respond. Oh, so Levi can't respond because he's doing the dishes but he's listening to live. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Levi. Um, what's your favorite fruit? Ah... Uh, I like car or cars, probably my favorite, or, or just simple grapes. I like fruit better than vegetables. Who's your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber, Mike Morgan. Um. <laughs> okay, we. Um. The motivated. Um, we already being... answered that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're here. Okay. I just can't read it. <laughs> oh, they asked if I liked running the new excavator and if I'll be running the excavator to dig the pool. It's a good question. If I would be, it'll probably be with a strong supervision. I like this one. Why don't you wear a wedding band? Yeah, so I lost my wedding band <laughs> years ago and I just never Both of them. <laughs> replaced it. Um, what was your favorite part of your trip out west and why? Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It, I understand why they call it God's country. I understand, wow, the people out there that um, you talk about mountains and, you know, in Montana, they're, what their theme on their license plate is like big sky country and like all of that. I am like, you're in awe. I mean, out here, where we live here, we have the green grass and the green of the trees it's beautiful but i sure do and uh really enjoy visiting the west and the beautiful mountains so there's 792 people on i really appreciate you joining and i really appreciate everyone that has sent um the questions and if you want to click the thumbs up or go ahead and click the thumbs up it's okay it's okay to click it um you've never someone asked if you've ever been to england you haven't but mm -hmm. would you want to yeah yeah, there's a lot of history there I would like to visit. I think, um, oh, and also in like uh, the South Americas, uh, South America, there's a lot of history there. I just, there's a lot of American history that I just, um, I don't know. When I was a teenager, why did I not love American history like I do now? Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Um, what's your favorite Italian food? Snowman, thanks very much. Snowman's getting off. I just want to thank Snowman. My favorite Italian food is a nice, good lasagna. And I, pray, I make a pretty good lasagna, don't you think? Yeah. Thank you. I don't like lasagna, but yeah. Um, what's your favorite Outdoors with the Mormons Oh, that's video? right. She doesn't eat lasagna. <laughs> you like the, um, they like the pasta with meat sauce. Yeah. Um, favorite Outdoors with the Morgans video? Oh, boy. Well, Mike Morgan um, approaches a thousand videos. His next video will be a thousand. I think the numbers go away at that point. Just to warn all of you. But my favorite, I, I don't know if I have a favorite. I, of course it'd be one that I'm in. That's true. Oh, have you ever searched your ancestry? Yes. My mom is huge into um, genealogy, family history, and she has searched our family's lines back both sides of my mom and my dad's side and she's helped me do the Morgans and um, I'm talking way back way back and uh, it's exciting there's there's a lot of good information she has told me from you know my young 12 13 years old 
has always shared stories. I remember her driving us to the library and she would go in and she would research um, where to get different records. And then they would have these microfish. I think that's what they're called, these microfish that she'd have to put in to read these files, you know, so she's, microfilm. or microfilm. Okay, so she's looking and reading those and she would tell us there'd be like these little chairs over by the children's library at this library she'd go to and she would tell us to sit in these chairs me and my siblings like for how to me it felt like a whole day and she'd be like hey we'd be fighting or whatever she'd be like, hey. and, we're like oh. and my mom and dad they're probably watching or maybe they'll tune in tomorrow and watch this later or something but mom i love you for your good example at researching the family history but boy, as a kid, and then she'd take us to, oh, is it Maxwell? Yeah. 212. Thank you so much, Maxwell. We sure do appreciate it. What's your favorite meal to make? To make? Actually, my favorite's one of the one I don't have to make. But um, we, buy, we, we eat a lot of deer meat and beef, so those are probably my favorite things to prepare. You know, my cheeseburger soup, my chili, um, beef tips over noodles, my meatloaf, and what else, Mike? One more. What's your last favorite meal? There's usually a good staple of five. You named the favorites. Those are the favorites. Um, can Hunter read? Yeah, so it, this is interesting. Um, Hunter can read, and um, he was... Uh, how do I describe this? So he used to communicate by using a device. He has an app on his iPad that he's deleted a couple times that helped him communicate. And the school district paid for it because they had a license and it's pretty expensive. So we don't have that app anymore. We have a few other apps. And um, he cycles through it. So if you know anything about like the cycling of say like bipolar, for example, they have these behaviors that go on for a while. And then when they get off, um, they cycle through them. And sometimes it can be seven years, sometimes it can be five months. It just kind of depends. So his, between his seizures and some other things that he has to deal with, he kind of cycles. And as of right now, he's, he just uses the hand over hand to communicate and some sign language. So he's not typing anything on a keyboard to us. Um, and that might come back, but that's, that's a really good question. How big of a swimming pool? big i would like to i'm looking at swimming pools that have like um like a hot tub off to the side but um any swimming pool would kind of be better than the one we have did you go to college i went to the Com butler county community college with the studies of general uh, business and then over the years i took classes through Temple University and studied um, special education. Um, do, do you realize the light you are on here, social media wise? No, that's really fun to um, imagine. Like when I hear that question, if I, you know, if I'm, I think I wrote that one down. I, um, I just, it's just, that's the idea. I, when I studied, Mike said, okay, if you're going to, this is how I said, I said, Mike, I do, might do a YouTube channel. And he's like, okay, you could probably pull that off. And he goes, but let me tell you right now, you're going to have to find out what your niche is, what you're good at and what your passion is and, and be good at that and share that and, and know what you're doing before you get out there. Cause you know, it's a dog eat dog world, so to speak in YouTube, they can chew you apart. I'm like, okay, so I'm looking and I'm realizing, okay, I'm not a super good baker. I'm not the best cook. Okay, I don't sew too well. I, crocheting wouldn't work because I do crochet. But like, so I went through this list and then I'm like, I'm just going to do a video of like the dogs. Well, they're not show dogs. They're just enjoyment, fun, um, family dogs. And then included Hunter. So anyway, the more I built, the more I thought about this and tossed it around in my head, it was my niche is... This brings me joy that I surely really hope that I can bring you joy. Um, to answer that question. What's your favorite thing to do outdoors? I love to be outdoors. Um, 
I love to be on the trails, walking the, or running the trails or um, helping Mike do something. So cutting firewood, stacking firewood. I had stacked firewood as a girl and my dad took us to cut firewood. Thank you very much. Uh, Dave. Uh, Dave, thanks so much. Thank you. You never sent me or you never emailed me, Dave. I was gonna send him a scarf. He's <laughs> always sending something each month. Um, what's your favorite year? Oh, um, well, I remember Mike, Mike and I were talking about this the other day. So like, I remember in 1999 was like a really good year when Mike was working in explosives and, um, financially, like back then we were like, wow, it's making a lot of money. And it really wasn't, but you kind of just keep growing, you gain wisdom, you get a better job, you improve yourself and you improve your finances by paying off debt or, you know, so you learn and from experience comes wisdom. Um, what sports did you play? I played basketball in high school. What jobs did you have? Uh, my handy dandy paper route. I had a paper route as a teenager. Well, I was 12. In fact, I was saying the other day to my family, um, when I played basketball and I got off the activity bus, I'd have to grab my paper bag and go deliver my papers in the dark. Eva, what do you like and not like about being part of the YouTube video? I saw that comment. <laughs> oh yeah? Um, I don't know. I like that I don't know, like the people that we've met through it and just like like you guys, you guys are all so nice and um You are pretty awesome. I like mm -hmm. the stuff we get, like the like things people make for us. I think that's oh, really yeah. cool. Hand handmade gifts and the personal letters. Like those little tops we got last <sighs> week. I like those. Yeah. Um what I don't like I don't know, it's just um I feel like it's weird sometimes just like going to school or something and like having kids at school knowing about it. That's just, I don't know. Well, you said it's a, not a bad thing. It's there's a group of weird kids thing. that know. Yeah. And the... um, what's your favorite movie? Yeah, I have a strong like for comedy. So I love um, the movie uh, Tommy Boy, Black Sheep. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, meet the Parents, but there's a, there's a version of that that's PG that you can see. It's on like TBS. Like, um, oh, for serious movies or, or not, the ones that aren't comedy or um, radio, like that movie, I Am Sam. It's the only good thing Sean Penn did, I think, was he played in I Am Sam. Um, oh, and Pride and Prejudice. When did you realize Hunter had autism? Um, he was two and a half years old. And it was November 29th of 1994. And I had, um, Levi and Hunter 18 months apart. So I was pregnant and he, Hunter was talking. But then I gave birth to Levi and we bring this new baby in and Hunter's not talking anymore and kind of started humming and he started flapping his hands and I'm like, this, this doesn't feel right. This isn't right. So six months into it, I called, um, we have a rang, it was the Ranga Research at Children's Hospital back then. And you waited six months to get an appointment. And yeah, Dr. McAllister actually was the doctor that diagnosed Hunter. And I saw him on a, <laughs> I watched an episode of um, like hometown, something hometown Pittsburgh. And he was being interviewed. Dr. McAllister, Mike, I don't know if I told you this. He retired from being a, a really? child psychiatrist and he opened up a brewery and he <laughs> makes beer. <laughs> what was your first pet? A dog, a poodle. It was a toy poodle named Nikki. Yeah. Do you watch football? I do. And I watched, ugh, 
I watched that awful Steeler game <laughs> two Sundays ago. Um, what's your favorite TV shows? I love The Middle. I love The Office. I love King of Queens. And um, game shows, love The Price is Right. Um, growing up, I used to watch, at my grandparents, I used to watch Match Game PM. I like that. I thought that was a fun one. Oh, um, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. I like Jeopardy. I miss Alex Trebek. I thought he was a good fit for that show, but I do like Ken Jennings. So, Ken, if you're watching, you're doing a good job. <laughs> um, how does it feel being recognized in public? Um, it feels kind of funny because sometimes when people approach me, they're like, hey, I just want to let you know. People. Hmm? 800 people. 800 people are on here. Well, thank you to all 800 people. <laughs> and if you want to, it's okay to go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I know. I don't need to give you permission, but <laughs> I feel like when I'm asking, what am I asking for? Well, because I want to get the video liked. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you had to do anything in the world, what would it be? Charity, career, or hobby-wise? Well, where I'm at now, I think is exactly where I'd want to be. I like the platform that I can share what we do in the Morgan home that is possibly going to bring joy to others, share our joy and bring you joy and help you how to find that. So there's a difference between joy and happiness. So um, it's kind of like being hungry and starving. Uh, you can be hungry and eat something and feel better. And you so say you can have happiness by seeing the sunshine or seeing your baby or your pet, and that brings you happiness, but it might go away. Now, finding joy is something that's more um, stable, and so that's why I just kind of wanted to describe the two, that I hope we can share that joy with you, and you can find it in your daily life. And um, But what you see is what you get. It's really nothing's planned. Well, Mike will plan his things outdoors because of safety reasons, or you know, make sure you don't let the dogs out or whatever. Um, but, and yeah, so you see, you know, you've, you've seen my oven has the bungee cord on it and that sort of thing. <laughs> Mike doesn't want to talk about it. Um, do you speak any other languages? I took French in high school, but no, it's fluent. If you were to move anywhere, where would it be? I should be learning Thai because my grandson's going to be speaking Thai before I speak it. Um, if I can move anywhere, if you were to move, where would it be? Um, one possibly up north of where we're at still remain in Pennsylvania, but up further north. It's beautiful, like up above Cook's Forest area. Or, um, I just have always said Tennessee. One, Dolly Parton lives there. Um, there's Dollywood. I want to go to Dollywood. Maybe we'll do that this year. Um, and you have like mountains and I don't know. I think it's kind of like Pennsylvania, but I really don't know for sure. But those would be the two things on my mind. Well, we're all caught up on the questions finally. Okay. I've read both those ones. Okay. Actually, I don't know what that one is. I don't remember how to put What is your favorite something? Oh, job. If you could have any job, what would it be? Like, if you could get an education or whatever and just be good at it, what would you be? Like a doctor or something? No, there's always the downside to being a doctor. You know, I always thought, oh, I'm going to be a psychiatrist. I'm going to be a psychologist. And there's always a downside. You're going to see people that really need help. And uh, that one hour visit or however long you're going to be able to visit with a person isn't going to be enough. And it's going to be tough. So Levi's done with the dishes. Oh, Levi finished the dishes. <laughs> what a guy. Kate speaks Thai. I speak English. Oh yeah, he's talking about our grandson Ty. So Levi speaks English to Ty and Kate speaks Ty to Ty. How did you communicate with Hunter when he was little? He, um... Thank you, Lyle. Wow. <laughs> <I've been fun. laughs> oh, Lyle, thank you. That's pretty funny. Oven fund. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, when Hunter was little, how did we communicate? You know, the biggest thing was um, Hunter communicated through his behaviors, so he still does. So things don't go the way he thinks they should or things don't go the way he wants them to or 
somebody's not understanding or there's been a miscommunication, he Sun will Seeker. stomp and scream. Thank you, Sunseeker. Uh, Sunseeker, thank you. Yeah, so it's been a lot of trial and error with, with communicating with Hunter. Um, you know what, if Hunter didn't have behaviors, we did. And uh, yeah, he has a strong will, strong spirit, strong desire. This one's good. What would you say to your younger selves that could change your life today? Uh, I would say a lot. I would say, okay, um, here seriously, I have two journals. This is what I'd say to my younger self. This is the one you want to read. <laughs> the one that's marked, burn this, no one read it. That's the one I'd want my younger self to read. And this, pretending that this is a journal, this is just a journal that when I'm dead and gone, they can throw it in the family history of, here's mom's journal. <laughs> Look how happy. <laughs> Are you yawning? Yeah. So the birthday balloons, we've had these birthday balloons since <laughs> Eva's birthday in December. And we're finally going to retire them after this. Yep. Yeah, so I want to say thank you to everyone that has joined and supported us and asking questions, but have supported us in um, comments and liking videos and, and subscribing because um, I never thought I would be approaching 20,000 subscribers. And... Um, I didn't know what to think. I guess uh, I gave it a try and I'm pretty happy with the route that we're going. So I, I know that we couldn't have done it without you. So I wanna say thank you so much. Thanks for joining in and um, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And so if you haven't likes. subscribed, subscribe because then and beside the subscribe box, there should be like a little gray bell. And if you hit that bell, it'll look ab abbreviated. And then that'll give you notifications. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Dick, thank you so much. Wow, that's incredibly kind. Yeah. Um, but the little bell will give you notifications of when we publish a video. And I'm half, uh, I'm halfway, I shouldn't say half. I'm a quarter of a way done with my next upcoming video. So I published one last night. That was number 47. Mm -hmm. I think it was number 47. And uh, it has the profile picture of my 80s um, hair that is kind of fluffy, like out to here. It, it says, you asked for this. So um, over the years, or over the couple months, what we've been doing this since March, um, people have asked for pictures of when I was younger. So I made one, the thumbnail picture of that video, and then there's some other pictures of me in the video. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. There's a lot of clips of the dogs and our grandson, Ty. There's some things of Hunter, um, Hannah, and Eva, and even Mike Morgan. There's some behind the scenes um, video from my camera view of Outdoors with the Morgans. I posted rules for my 15-year-old son, model after Eva's rules. Now he won't speak to me, what do I do? <laughs> We, we went through that phase. That's uh, awesome. Oh, I thank you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's so kind. I sure do appreciate it. I appreciate um, your comments. It's Those are the things in life that make me find joy and happiness. So the two run parallel. People copying my rules. <laughs> We moved since we put um, the bulletin board. We always hang our Christmas cards. So since now we, it's on my bedroom door. Yeah, so I took her rolls and I taped it to her door. Yep. You know, so we had to modify some of her the house rules for the new um, school at home. Yeah, school at home. You know, you can't have a computer or be on a computer laptop in your room. And we have Hunter, you know. This is his new day program. Here we are. So there's a lot of noise and things going on. And she's like, shh, you have to be quiet. I have to play my violin for my teacher today or the next one. I have to speak French in French class and I need to hear and they need to hear me. I need to be unmuted. I'm like, okay, fine. So like I said before, we were driving Hunter around for a while. 
Uh, Eva did a class out in the new building. Eva did a class in their car before. I mean, like there's a lot of modifications, including Eva's rules. So the door has to be open unless things get too loud out here to disrupt her. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, Jeffrey, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that sent super chats. Mm -hmm. um, that's really kind. I really appreciate that. Um, I've had a few people um, send me birthday cards and I'm working on thank you cards to send to you. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, it makes my day. So if I can keep doing um, and sharing, I hope this is valuable to you and that you can use it in your family. If anything, hopefully it's a good laugh, you know? Of the dogs getting muddy, you know, the don't tell Mike Morgan section, um, working on a few new sections. You had a couple ideas. For your videos? Yeah. Oh, they were- um, Are you gonna tell them? Yeah, we probably won't. We'll just wait, <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah, and um, Wrote down some other things. Oh, I have a few quotes. You want to hear some of my favorite quotes? And then we, um, I guess we've already been an hour, so I don't want to keep you guys any longer. There's seven, 750 people. We sure do appreciate everyone being here. If you can, you can go ahead, click the thumbs up. I give you the thumbs up. I give you the okay. And make sure you're subscribed. But a favorite few quotes, um, stand for something or you'll fall for everything. I love it. Um, oh, uh, woman, the women aren't here. This is, this is my paraphrasing a, a quote of somebody that said this. So it's not the direct quote. So it's Melissa Morgan's version of the quote. Women aren't here to prove that they can do everything a man can do. They're here to prove that they can do what a man cannot do, which is nurture, give birth, and nurture a baby. So a man can nurture, but I really believe there's a lot to being a mother. There's a lot involved in that. And I really believe being a mother, um, being pregnant, carrying a child, giving birth, and then raising a child. <laughs> you can't replace that. So I don't have any problems with men. I've never felt that we, I live in a world that yeah, men are Bigger, higher, stronger. I wish that I never listened to her. Or something, or something like that. Like that. <laughs> nah, that's funny. I heard something like that from the movie Dumb and Dumber. That was another favorite movie. Dumb and Dumber. Um, but yeah, Radio was a good movie. I Am Sam, good movie. Like I said, the only... Oh, I like, um, I like Westerns. My dad and I would always sit and watch Westerns together. Um, I'm going to say Tombstone. You know what ruined it for me with the movie Tombstone is there's a frozen pizza called Tombstone. So I kind of just get very confused. You can make a frozen pizza called Tombstone and watch the movie. But, um, and then Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. I really hope that in year 2021 and possibly 2022, whatever the future brings, that we can all meet up. If I could have it my way, I would invite you all here and we could all have a big celebration. Mike's saying something over there. <laughs> I'm not sure what, but this is the next best thing is having these lives. I appreciate you putting them on your calendar or at least showing up because this is the way I look at how we can connect and how we can meet up. So um, I think we'll do one, I don't know. I don't know if we'll do one before the end of January or not. I think we, yeah, I think we'll do one the last Saturday in January, and then we will do one with Mike Morgan and I. We're going to sit here like this because in February, it's our 30th anniversary. Oh, and if we're not sitting here, we'll be sitting on a beach somewhere. Right, Mike? I'll be sitting on the beach. Mike, <laughs> Mike will, I don't know, but I didn't hear a yes, so... 
we look forward to catching up with you again. Thank you to everyone that has sent in questions and comments. And thank you to everyone that has sent super chats. So extremely kind of you. Um, 800 likes. 800 likes? Are you serious? See, look, I have to get my glasses. <laughs> Can you tell I'm 50 plus one? 802. 802. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. That is so kind. Hey, Tina from Texas. How are you? I'm sweating. All right. So, Phil Wise says, peace, everyone. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.